Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back to SJK Online. Hopefully, this will only be for two weeks, but I thought we could make the best of this situation and have a bit of fun on our Sunday morning. And so we'll have a few things lined up for you today. We've got a challenge, got a memory verse, uh, got some songs, and we've got a lesson, boys and girls, that we can learn about stories that Jesus told. And so before we get into that, let's sing a song together. And the song, you all know it, we've sang it a good few times throughout the first lockdown, and that is Counting on God. And so I want you up on your feet and ready to sing this song out for Jesus. the challenge for this morning. Now all you need for the challenge is you're gonna need some type of bread. I've got a wee bap here, half a bap, and some either peanut butter or Nutella or something sticky that you can put on the bread. And what you're gonna want to do is place it like that, okay? Then if if you have ping pong balls 
it would work best with ping pong balls. But you could do it with a bouncy ball, or you could, if you don't have anything bouncy, you could even just scrumble up a bit of tin foil and use that just to throw it. But the aim of the game is to see how long it takes you to get your ping pong ball or your any type of ball onto your peanut butter. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do this by bouncing it to get it to land on the peanut butter. You ready? Up for three. One, two, three, go! Ah! We're close. We're gonna collect them all back up. I'll try again. Oh! Oh! Close. Sure, you should be doing better than this. Yes! Get in! That's the challenge, boys and girls. Over to you. Well, now it's time for our Bible lesson, boys and girls. And today we're going to be looking at a story that Jesus told that was all about how people respond differently to a message. Now maybe you can think of a time in your life when a friend has ran up to you and told you something and given you a message and you weren't quite sure whether to believe it or not. Let's take now for instance. Imagine someone ran up towards you and said this. Quick, I don't have much time. I was told by a friend that if I followed this map and its directions, it would lead me to a barn full of sweeties, games and toys. But I've run out of time. I couldn't get there in time. But maybe you will. But you have to leave right now. Here's a map that you need to get to this place. But you only have 24 hours. Quickly, you gotta go right now. Now, if your friend said that to you, there are a few ways that you could respond to your friend. Maybe you would think it was ridiculous, that this message that he gave you was ridiculous. You would take that map and rip it up and walk away just to carry on with what you were doing. Or maybe you would believe your friend, you would take the map and you would start following its directions. But when you realized it got really, really hard, you decided, I'm not gonna bother. And you'd rip the map up and walk away. Or maybe you would believe your friend, but at the same time, you saw something that seemed easier and a better option than what your friend was telling you. For instance, maybe you saw in the corner of your eye an ice cream truck that said, had a big sign out on the front saying, free unlimited ice cream here. And maybe you thought that was a better option than what your friend was telling you. Or maybe, just maybe, you believe your friend, you take them up, and then you follow its directions, no matter how hard, until you got to the very end, to that barn. This was just a really silly example to get us thinking about all the different ways we could respond to a message that is given to us by a friend. But in our story today, in our Bible lesson today, Jesus tells a story and it's all about seed. It's all about seed that a farmer scatters. But this seed represents a message. But before I get, uh, before I spoil the story, let's go and listen to it for ourselves. The Parable of the Farmer Scattering Seed. One day, Jesus told a story in the form of a parable to a large crowd that had gathered from many towns to hear him. A farmer went out to plant his seed. As he scattered it across his field, some fell on a footpath where it, it was stepped on and the birds ate it. Other seed fell among rocks. It began to grow, but the plant soon wilted and dried for lack of moisture. Other seed fell among thorns that grew up with it and choked out the tender plants. Still, other seed fell on fertile soil 
This seed grew and produced a crop that was a hundred times as much as had been planted. When he had said this, he called out, Anyone with ears to hear should listen and understand. Well, in this story, boys and girls, Jesus tells us about a farmer who went out and scattered seed. And the seed fell on four different types of soil, with only the good soil producing a crop for harvest. And Jesus, when telling the people this story, told them at the very end, those who have ears to hear, let them hear. Why did he tell them this? Why did he say this? Well, he said this because this story has a bigger meaning behind it. It has a heavenly meaning behind it. You see, boys and girls, the seed in this story represents God's message, the Bible. And the four different types of soil represent four different types of people and how they respond to this message from God. One of the groups of people heard the message, received it, but when times got tough, they fell away. When times got too hard, they fell away and stopped believing this message from God. Other people would hear the message, but the riches of, the, of this life, the pleasures of this life, seemed greater than Jesus. And so they fell away and they didn't believe. But the last group of people, the good soil in this story, represents people who hear the message, receive it in their heart, and cling to Jesus, their saviour, and follow him each day of their lives. And so, just like our story at the start, this story that Jesus told shows us four different ways in which people can respond to this message from God. And the question I want to ask you boys and girls this morning is which type of person are you in this story? Are you the person who listens to this message but doesn't believe it? Or are you the person in this story, this, the last group of people, the good soil? Are you the person who listens to Jesus' message, believes in the message and follows him? And that's a question we have to ask ourselves, boys and girls. Do we believe in this message from God? Or do we not believe it? But if you're sitting here this morning, boys and girls, and you're asking yourself, how can I accept this message? How can I accept this message and believe and follow Jesus? Well, it's really, really simple, boys and girls. And in order to be saved, we need to turn to Jesus. And there's four things that we should do. Number one, firstly, we have, we, have to, we have to realize that on our own, we're not good enough to get to heaven because of our sin. We're, we're sinful people, boys and girls. I'm sinful, you're sinful, everybody is sinful. We all do bad things. And so that's what we need to realize, that on our own, we're not good enough to get to heaven. Number two is that we need to turn to God and ask God for forgiveness for that sin. We need to turn to God and ask God to forgive us. So that's number two. Number three is that we need to believe in Jesus. We need to believe that he is our saviour, that he came from heaven down to earth to die on a cross, to save us from our sin and then rose again on the third day. We need to believe in Jesus. And number four is follow him. Once we believe in Jesus, we should follow him and seek to do his will in our lives. And so I hope, boys and girls, that you would believe in Jesus this morning if you don't already, because he loves you, boys and girls, and he wants you to come to him. And so I hope you've really enjoyed this story today from the Bible. And now what we're going to do is we're going to have a wee prayer and then we're going to learn our memory verse. So let's pray. God, we come before you and we thank you for this story that you told. 
about a farmer scattering seed. And we pray, Lord, that you'd help us to be the good soil in this story, to believe in you, to accept you in our hearts, and to follow you. We pray that you'd help us to be the good soil. And I just want to thank you, Lord, for all the boys and girls listening this morning. I pray, Lord, that you'd bless them and that you'd help them, Lord, to turn to you and follow you. We pray these things in your name. Amen. Okay, boys and girls, now it's time for our memory verse. And this is a new memory verse. We haven't learned this one before in a kid zone, but I think you, after a couple of times, you'll get it really, really quickly. And so it's going to come up on the screen now. It's from Luke chapter 11 and verse 28. And I'll read it out first, and then we'll try and learn it together, okay? So it says this, Jesus said, The people who are really blessed are the ones who hear and obey God's message and so that's our memory verse for today and I want to try and get us learning this as quick as possible so what we're going to do is we're going to say it together and then we'll have a few different things that we'll try to help us remember them okay so let's say it together after three one two three the Bible says in Luke chapter 11 and verse 28 Jesus said the people who are really blessed are the ones who hear and obey God's message. Well done, well done. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to close one eye. So, I want you to put your hand over your right eye and I want you to say it with me again, okay? So it says after three, one, two, three. The Bible says in Luke chapter 11 and verse 28, Jesus said the people who are really blessed are the ones who hear and obey God's message. Well done guys, that was really, really good. So we're going to change things up. If you have your ball from your challenge, I want you to, when you're saying this, I want you to bounce it, okay? Or throw it and catch it, okay? So we're we'll trying to do that, okay? After three, one, two, three. The Bible says in Luke chapter 11 and verse 28, Jesus said, the people who are really blessed are the ones who hear and obey God's message. I hope you were keeping that ball in your hands. You didn't drop it, but if you dropped it, no worries. That was fantastic, boys and girls. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a few letters away and we'll see if we can say it together. So a few letters are gonna be taken away now, and I want you to see if you can say it again. But this time, I want you to rub your tummy and pat your head, okay? You ready? After three. One, two, three. The Bible says in Luke chapter 11 and verse 28, Jesus said, the people who are really blessed are the ones who hear and obey God's message. Well done, guys. Well done. Now, what does this Bible verse mean? Before we finish, what does this mean? Well, boys and girls, this Bible verse is really clear, and it tells us that the people who are really blessed by God are the ones who listen and obey God and His message. And what is God's message? Well, God's message is that he sent Jesus into the world to save us, to save sinners, people who mess up like me and like you. And Jesus came and he died on a cross for us so that we wouldn't have to pay the price for our sin, for all the bad things that we have done. And so the ones who are really blessed, like this Bible verse teaches, are the ones who listen and obey God's message, this message about Jesus how he came to save us. And so I, thought, I hope you've had a really, really good time um, listening and learning this memory verse. But now what we're gonna do is we're going to sing our second song, Never Be Shaken.
boys and girls, I hope you've had a really good time, but that's all we have time for. I hope that you've really enjoyed yourself um, at SJK Online. You've enjoyed the songs, the challenge, the memory verse, and the lesson. And I hope, boys and girls, that you've learned a lot from that lesson today because it was fantastic about that story that Jesus told about this parable of the farmer scattering seed. But thank you all for joining us this morning. I'm just going to pray for us now and to thank God for everything that he's done for us. So we'll just do the wee prayer drill. So hands out, wiggle those fingers, get them out. And you bring them up, 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 and down, 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 and then up again. And then we'll bring them down, and we'll pray to God. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we come before you this morning, and just thank you for everything that you've done for us. We thank you for the Bible, and how it teaches us every day when we read it. We thank you, Lord, for our church. We thank you, God, that we have friends and family who take care of us. Um, and we thank you, Lord, for the cross. We thank you, Jesus, for that sacrifice that you made for us to set us free from our sin and to bring us into your, into your kingdom to be with you forever. We pray these things in your name. Amen. Okay, boys and girls, see you later.